Uh, hello, welcome back to Toys Channel. Today I am inside the shopping area. So basically the merch area inside the Spider-Man exhibition. If you want to check out the full report on the exhibition, check out this video and link down below. As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff for you to buy and I've already picked these up. I'll be opening them for you tonight and as always, please remember to like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. Demon Slayer, Hot Toys, Marvel, Spider-Man, etc. And I'll show you guys what's around inside this merch area and without further ado, let's hit it! stunning going daytime. Also I've bought the merch from inside just now. I definitely think this looks better during the daytime because you get more clarity as to the texture of the suit, the scalp and also because I was filming at night time last time with my iPhone so it's not as clear but here you can see the very very cool and detailed integrated Spider-Man here in all its glory and also with the portal there lies Doctor Strange here and I can't really get his face, he's too tall but yeah that's quite a lot of details here. Okay so there are quite a few key rings and stuff let's have a look at the new one uh, the integration suit which looks pretty cool to be honest uh, so you can see the color combinations with the navy gold and red look stunning and it's around what uh, 78 Hong Kong dollars which is like what uh, 10 USD and uh, let me pop that back and also there is the homecoming one in the uh, yellow uh, jacket uniform as well as the black and gold suit and the upgraded suit here which looks fantastic and there are some metallic ones here as well which looks um, okay I guess but uh, definitely not as good as the ones we've just seen down below and there are also some Venom and Carnage ones as well as the Cost Baby stickers which will set you back around a dollar or so um, a dollar and a bit and also some more Venom stickers here we have the Spider-Man uh, so we have the homecoming one Doctor Strange upgraded suit integration suit which looks pretty good I think yeah I'll, might probably get this as well as the uh, black and gold suit I think the finishing is great on the background as well as the ice cream Spider-Man as well as this um, upgraded suit Spider-Man moving down we have got um, the very first scene with MJ and the upgraded C as we've seen in the trailer as well as the um, portal with Doctor Strange and the black and gold C Spider-Man uh, Tom Holland's face and uh, moving on more upgraded C more upgraded C and uh, we have the integration suit here I love Keith Parker, why not? And also Doctor Strange with his coffee. A credit keychains which cost around like $59, uh, which is under $10. I think these lights up. I know what kind of light, what color of light it gives off. But anyway, uh, this is it, two variations. And also this one here as well. And we have the acrylic keychains here. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, this one with Nick Fury, I think this one is from yep, the previous film, they're just trying to remove the stocks. As well as Miles Morales from Spider-Man into uh, Spider-Verse etc. And down below we have got some t-shirts with the integration suit. I have got enough t-shirts but I just want to show you guys. And uh, it comes with two postures, one swinging and the other one is just uh, ready for action. And also this one, the Spider-Man head, and this is pretty much it, nothing on the back. And these will set you back around like um, 30 something dollars, 30, 31 dollars or so. And uh, let's have a look at the cost baby. So we have the 
integrate uh no sorry uh we have the upgraded suit one here which looks pretty good i think all of these uh cost babies they're just uh, gonna swing high uh, because they've got that piece of plastic uh, on many of them as uh, I have shown you guys previously in the exhibition video and also there is the Doctor Strange one here which looks pretty good as well as we've seen from the trailer and oh I like the boxes actually uh, kind of uh, shines a bit with uh, these effects and also laminated plastic as usual and also uh, cost baby illustration at the side cool stuff and we have the web climbing spider-man uh, also this one is the upgraded suit and again uh, more graphics here at the side i am still deciding which one i should get but on the side here looks pretty good uh it shines off quite a bit the art value the artistic value is definitely strong with this one let me put that back and also we have the integrated seat which is definitely uh, the one I want to get and uh, as you can see it's pretty cool and also at the back there is the piece of plastic again for him to sit on and on the side it looks pretty stunning as usual and you just gotta give them props for the box art it just looks really good it shines it glitters and yeah I I think the effect is pretty cool and also on the side here we have got a spidey portal similar to the one that we have seen from the exhibition the side of the exhibition for you to take pictures of and also we have got Peter Parker here and he is looking happy and also got the spider-man hood with him and also that kind of device thing on his belt uh, definitely not a bum bag and yeah uh, on the side there uh, is the uh, illustration and on the other side uh same thing pretty much uh, with the portals and stuff put that back and we have got the black and gold suit here and it looks pretty good in terms of posture i quite like this one but nonetheless uh, i can't get too many there are too many of them being released especially i have got the villains on the checklist that i want to get so yeah i'll probably wait for those as well and also we have the black and gold suit with the magic portal here in orange uh, again i am not that big of a fan of the orange uh, magic portals um but i do like the blue one that uh, they initially released but nonetheless, uh, it is what it is, syncing with Doctor Strange's magic in orange. And also we have got this gigantic cost baby here. And also, uh, let's see, there is the very, very decent illustration here at the side. And also on the other side, it's just an enlarged version of what we have from the cost babies on the right here we have seen just now. So it's pretty good, uh, I am still deciding what to get. So here on the side we have got the two different uh, upgraded suit versions of the Cos Beast, Cos Rider sorry, uh, with Tom Holland's face here on the left and with the suited up uh, master up Spidey on the right. And uh, down below we have got Hawkeye, we have got Kate Bishop and the blind dog. The blind dog is pretty cute as you can see it's got this pizza with him and Kate Bishop. I think the face they have done a good job in getting her expression, that kind of personality through this head scale. And also uh, there is the bow which of course uh, she which is what she uses on the show and the illustration looks cool as well. And yeah, the motif of Hawkeye is just uh, good. Uh, I mean Hawkeye as in the show. And we have got Jeremy Renner here with Hawkeye himself. Uh, the brows definitely portray Jeremy Renner well, as well as the hair. And also with the illustration at the side. Uh, very cool stuff. And also the Hawkeye logo. I think it's uh, pretty decent, but uh, at the moment there's only two to choose from. You don't really get any villains yet because we are only uh, given two episodes so far, i.e. episodes one and two. 
And in the middle, we have got the Spider-Man Holiday Special Boxer. And I think these are cost fees, essentially. Let me pick it up for you guys. So we have got these glittery uh, versions of Spider-Man. And uh, the one in the middle looks pretty cute uh, with the gifts. And the other two, I think, is um, pretty generic because I've never been a fan of these uh, on the tone colored stuff like these glitter versions or the shiny gold versions uh, from their previous release and also we have got these uh, Cosby blind boxes here which I have shown you guys as well in terms of uh, what variations of figures you can get so at the back you can see the round eight of them and yeah it looks uh, pretty cool and uh, I know I am tempted to get one but um, I've got uh, Mysterio and stuff already so maybe I'll hold off for this one and yep you can get full boxes at the back as well and also there are some power banks which has the integrated suit here in red and looking pretty cool. I know what it lights up, but uh, this one definitely lights up. Oh, actually, let me show you guys. It actually does light up, but only in some areas. So, um, yeah, decide if you want to get it or not. Uh, it's only 5,000 megahertz, so uh, not not bad, I'd say, but um, it's around uh, $298, which is like, um, oh, quick math here, um, 40, under 40 USD. And also we have got uh, more cost babies down below. Uh, these are the Imans I have shown you guys previously. And also we have uh, got the cost riders here with Captain Britain. And also the what if cost babies as well as the Venom and Carnage individual figures and aha uh -huh, Eternals I haven't seen this one yet because um, I've watched the movie but I just never gone around to getting any of them so we have got Athena by Angelina Jolie uh, looking pretty cool here and so is the box are on the side and also on the other side Eternals I just love how clean this is and also representing that kind of uh, space um, theme that uh, they went with in the movie and also we have got Icarus uh, it looks okay I guess but um, I don't think um, any of them beats Athena because uh, she was my favorite uh, one in Eternals uh, probably because of her fighting style and we have got Cersei here and yeah looking great as well uh, you can see Gemma Chan here right there in the cube face and also uh, the other side of the box and lastly we have got some old stuff with the spider drawing uh, the Iron Man arc reactor etc and this is it for this wall and on the side we have got the lights we have got the Marvel Studio lights here as well as the Venom eyes they will set you back around uh, 550 HKD which is around uh, $70 or so, yeah, just a bit more. And the box art looks pretty cool as you can see here with all those Avengers graphics as well as the Venom one here which is laminated and plastic. Pretty cool and also moving down to the bottom we have got the Spider-Man No Way Home version and I think this one is probably for the Spidey head as we can see here. Looks okay, I guess, but am I in the market for a new lamp? Probably not. And at the bottom, some old stock with the amazing Spider-Man lamp. And the box art. And I have essentially just picked up the integrated suit cost baby, as well as the black and gold suit. Bag looks really, really cool. Oh. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always, please remember to like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.